let's analyze the center of the dihedral group. So let's recall that the center of the group is just the set of all of the elements that commute with all of the other elements. So let's see, to check the center of the dihedral group, we need to find elements that commute with each of the generators R and S. So it comes down to these two equations. So let's suppose we've got a central element that's a rotation R to the M. So notice that it's automatically gonna commute with all of the rotations. So we just have to check if it commutes with the reflection S. But that's only gonna be possible if N was even and M was half of N, just by a simple calculation. So now let's assume that we've got a central element that's a reflection of the form S R to the M. So let's observe that to commute with S, we have the same condition that we had above, but to commute with R, well, that simplifies down to N is equal to two, which is not very interesting. So most of the time you never get a reflection in the center. But after all of this, we see that the center of D sub two N plus one is trivial. And then the center of D sub two N has two elements E and R to the N, whereas in this case, when N is equal to two, the center is the whole group. But of course that's obvious because this is Z two cross Z two.